let's just quickly check what sort of issues we still have. Children lack guardians. My son Giacomo. Giacomo. He's actually turning out to be a pretty good steward. Look at that. He might actually not be a bad boy. Oh, a bad boy. What? A bad son. Still thinking of disinheriting him, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Who do we want as his guardian? I think we don't really want ourselves as his guardian. We've got we have absolutely nobody with an actual uh with an actual stewardship education. Everybody is either well a anything else basically. Okay, so how are we doing on these? Your brother and knight. So Prince Benedetto of Jerusalem. I mean, sure, you can be his war. Uh, you can be his guardian. Why not? Why not? And Lamberto, what are you like? Uh, you're gonna be an intrigue focused man, huh? Intrigue education, interesting. But I don't really want a, a an intrigue heavy man over here. Let's just try to find something. Queen Giovanna, maybe. You know what? Valerio. Oh, he's a fornicator. Not good. Brave. Temperate. Prince Sergio of Italy. They might actually become friends, huh? Which wouldn't be too bad of a thing, I'm guessing. Or Prince Benedetto of Jerusalem. My brother and knight. You know what? Sure. I'll put him to you. Okay, so that's it as far as uh, guardians go. That's the son you wanted to name after me? I'm no 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 no. This is the wait, yeah, this is the son. Lambe No, Giacomo, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the son that I wanted to name after you, Felix. Also, by the way, welcome to the stream. Uh <laughs> But yeah, this is the kid that I wanted to um <laughs> name after you and disinherit him, but yeah. Yeah. Uh you can call your house member wait, you can call your house member Oh, we can call him to war, uh huh. That's what it means. Still plenty of wars we can uh, declare. You can modify contract. That's a lot of contracts we can actually modify. But I think that we can actually just sell those hooks. Uh, scholarship focus right now. We can't really change it. I kind of messed up. We should have go uh, gone into like th the main focus or wealth focus just long enough to get go uh, golden obligations. So that we can actually sell or rather um, get payments for those uh, hooks. But oh, wait. Uh, oh well. Can grant vassals to rightful liege. Yeah, we'll see about that. You can call dynasty members. Good God. Okay, so you don't actually need alliances or anything. You just have to have some dynasty members that you can just call in. That's interesting. Countess Count King Virgi Virginia of Syria. I can actually call Syria to war. He will not accept, of course, because... Oh, he's already at war. He do be at war. I was just wondering, like... Wait, he actually likes us. What? <laughs> Dude, but we, <laughs> we've been at war. Declared war, claimed my title, but he still likes us so much because we're, uh, we're the same dynasty, we're a crusader, we're exalted among men. Both of us, I mean, we have a plenty of virtues that he likes because he is also Catholic. It actually outweighs the negatives, apparently. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you can call on your ally, powerful vassals. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Can imprison criminals. Duke Adalberto, I can imprison him. Yeah, he's the dude that I... We're, we're still gonna have to decide what to do with him. He is a Cathar and he will not convert. We'll have to figure that one out. I'm gonna use your background noise while I do some web dev things so when Cyberpunk fi uh, will finally get released, I can no life it without affecting my project. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. That is if Cyberpunk doesn't... Uh, doesn't get postponed again, or rather delayed. But yeah, we're hoping that it doesn't. You are in line to inherit titles. First in line for Duchy of Cantabria. Interesting. Oh, so we do have our kids over here. What happened there? Like, how do we have... Because there's a second one. Wait, Asturias de Santelana. Okay, so, uh, oh. County, okay, so Cantabria, this entire thing. He's basically the lord of, uh, Asturias de Santilla Santillana, I'm guessing is what it's like. Uh, and the entire duchy over there, which I'm wondering, like, maybe we could actually get it? I mean, 
succession of male preference. Uh, does not this? It doesn't really say here, does it? I'm trying to find if it says anywhere whether um, what sort of wait feudal kingdom realm? Okay, succession law. It does not say what sort of um crown authority they have because once you have high crown authority, good God, my bows kind of went somewhere there. Uh, once you have high crown authority, lands can no longer pass out of your um uh, out of your control even upon the death of a person. Like, you just get the land back, that's it. Alright, let's begin. We're... Right, I remember what we were doing here. We were waiting for the Friuli army to arrive. Which is why we moved our army closer. But the Friuli army is now once again heading to Kran. I'm guessing they saw this army and decided to back off. Yeah, they're gonna try and take Kran, but it's fine. Five months over here, three months over here. Once we take Polise, uh, Poli mm, Polisen? Polisin over here, uh, we will be in control of the war goal. They can try and take Kran, but... Hmm. I mean, once we take Polisin, we can just move our army over there and fight them, should it be necessary. We can also just move these guys into Friuli. Let's see if we can maybe bait them over here. Oh wow, this sped up. Deser desertion. Aha. Uh -huh. This really sped up over there. Nice. Okay, so we're not getting them to move, apparently. I'm fine with that. And boom. We got it. That is the war goal. Only five gold for Polisine, huh? Interesting. And we now control Treviso as well. We can just head on forward to Aquilea. No, we cannot head forward to Aquilea, so let's just move our army over here. Just our entire army. And what we can do is actually just leave enough units over here. No, we actually cannot move our entire army towards Kran, can we? We would actually have to re um, re raise it either in Leip uh, Leipnitz or Graz or something. Because if they just move through Aquileia and Gurz over here, it's uh, they're gonna wait. Let me just check. Like if I want to send half of the army that away, they're gonna take 100 units as a penalty over here. But you know what? I think we can survive 100 units. It's fine. We'll just move our armies closer. Continue the carpet sieging over here. We've already taken the attrition, so it's fine. So we'll see what they do over here. I doubt they're gonna have the guts to actually send their army back down to Aquileia to face our army. Then again, we would be considered the aggressors over here. They would be the defenders. We'll see what happens. They might come down. They might try to fight us. After they take uh, Kran. How long is that gonna be? Eight months. Oh, they're actually thinking about coming. Look at that. So, in preparation of that, what I'm going to do. Wait, how large is the fort over here? 300. Uh, sorry, garrison, not fort. So, in preparation of that, we can just split off the Onagers and say that, I don't know, about 800 levies stay here as well. And we can just prepare the 2100 units to possibly move into Aquileia. They are gonna take another 100 units um, of penalty over here. But let's see. Wait, what if we go like this? Yeah, they're gonna take one, uh, they're gonna take the penalty one way or another. I'm just wondering if we can maybe keep these guys from attacking us by moving a supporting army next to here. Let's see. What is up? Empty council position. Our marshal died. No! He was so good, though. He did not serve us long. He did not serve us long whatsoever. Um, Prince Benedetto of Jerusalem seems to be the, the best one, the best choice over here with 14. You know what? Sure, we'll take him. Assign him. There. Siege of Kran lost. Holding is occupying. That's fine. Let's see what happens. Let's see where they take their units. 
Yeah, I thought so. They don't have the balls to actually attack us, because we do have a superior army right next to them. Or rather, uh, n numerically superior, that is. Okay, so we said that we're gonna go towards Scholar here, so let's see. Your wards can get additional skills and can become your friends. Okay, cultural fascination progress plus 35%. I want that. No, can I change this? I cannot. Mm, how, uh, how often can I actually change it? Uh, I forgot where to actually check that. Oh, well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It is okay. Okay, walls breached over here in Aquileia. I think I see... Our Knights Templar have once again been uh, conscripted by somebody. That's fine. We're gonna have to move an army into Goritz and then into Kran to take that back. I'm just wondering... Wait, do I control this? I do, okay. It was such a weird color, like it did not like, you know, it doesn't show the lines that clearly. So it actually looked like we didn't have control of it anymore for whatever reason. I'm just wondering where this army is going. Like, they might be going back into Polise uh, Polisine. They might be heading towards Florence. Whichever they're doing, we do have the war goal. We can just take these two pieces of land. Like, if we see that they're heading towards uh, Florence, we'll just move our army back, fight them on our grounds, possibly even getting a little bit of uh, our uh, levies back through reinforcement. We'll see what these guys do. A, sens a sensual proposal. Wherever I, wherever I go, my guest Marie is sure to follow. That look in her eyes, the words on her lips, I know exactly what she is after. Dude, no. How sweet, but no. I will keep her close. Very close. Nope. A distraction for tonight, but nothing more. Nope. How sweet, but no. Nope. Uh, I mean, yeah. Never the world will know of, how, of her perverted nature. Like, who even are you? You... Wait, is this you or... Member of my dynasty, member of my house. And his wife, after he died, is trying to now... <laughs> seduce me. Made fornicatory advances. Marie will never attempt to seduce me again. I tire of these games. Leave me alone, all of you. Yeah, just don't stop trying to seduce me. Whoa, okay. I'm following. Aha, uh -huh. they're going to Paulusine or Florence. So we'll just finish this. How long? Three days. Perfect. Boom. How long is that gonna take? Five months, apparently. What if we split off this? Send it over here. Can I move them without them taking a attritional damage? I should be able to because we took uh, Frioli now. You guys don't have any, so let's just move you back right here. And over here, we're gonna split off an army. How large is the fort here? Fort level 4, so about 500 units, so let's say... Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna send these guys with them. Let's actually... Okay. Change of mind. Merge. Send the whole thing there. And these guys will be... Will continue the siege here. While the rest of the army will go down. And uh, try to defend Florence. Or fight in... Polisine. Wherever these guys actually end up going. Hashtag tactics. Yeah. It's just a little bit messed up. Like... <laughs> generals usually had more time to decide. <laughs> So they're going to be coming over here. Which means that we can now split up our onagers from this. Maybe even keep like a very small levy here. Just to continue the siege going before these guys arrive. And move the entire army over here into Padua, let's say. And let's see what these guys do. Like, they might just... They might literally just uh, mess mess with us right now. Go to the sea and then just... About face straight up north. And try to uh, destroy our army in Aquileia. That might also happen. You never know. There is a small army heading... F oh, wow! The Lincolnshire units are actually here. They actually made it. 
Interesting. Let's combine the army. How long is that gonna take now? Two months. Perfect. It's actually going much, much faster now that we brought a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of additional onagers there. Okay. Let's see what you're gonna do. Policine. Move there. Let's give you a commander. Controso fermo. Uh, and I don't really necessarily want to fight and die. Come on, I keep misclicking. There. Um. And Orson of Jaffa. I can now host a feast because I am not leading our men personally. Who's gonna be there quicker, I wonder? Eight days left, ten days left. Um, I actually forgot. Are we considered defenders or attackers? Because technically speaking, this is now under our control, right? We're not sieging this. They're gonna be the besiegers, but technically speaking, this is part of their land. Are we considered defenders here or attackers? Because the defender slash attacker does get a uh, bonus... Bonus points slash penalties. Actually, let's not move this army just yet, no. Because whichever it is, it's still gonna apply even once the army is here and we actually move in to fight them. So let's actually just combine our army over here. Oh, 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 look at what they did. Look at what they did. They about faced it just like I said they would. To the loathsome King Durant, we have been burdened with your oppressive loss for far too long. No more, we are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up, look at God, where? That's it? Why are you rising up in Siena? Peasant revolt in Siena. What is wrong in Siena? Popular opinion. Uh, because of offensive war, uh huh. We're, yeah, we're gonna have to take it easy on those. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now they have no other choice but to find us over here. Ah, they're trying to run away now. Catch him out. Catch him out. Can we actually send uh, even a few more? Not split in half. No, 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 no. No, we can't because uh, the amount of levies right there is... Mm -mm. I was gonna, I was gonna see if we can actually like send half or something of the units uh, over here to help as well, but I don't think so. Okay. Oh no, we didn't catch out the uh, larger uh, army. We just caught out the Lincolnshire units that we utterly destroyed. Okay. Well, in that case, just. That's fine, just keep the units right where they are. They're not losing, uh, they're not losing supplies. They're well supplied. And let's just see what these guys do. We're kind of going round and round over here, kind of trying to um, outmaneuver the enemy army. I mean, and once we take Aquileia, we can just move on to uh, Gorica over there. Possibly even head straight for Kran, take it back. But the more we do that, the... Um, the more spread out we are. Okay, so these units are actually heading to Spoleto for whatever reason. Okay. They didn't even try to continue taking down Siena. Okay, so what do you actually do? They're gonna do the same thing again, huh? Well, what if I just move my entire army straight down there, sir? Combine. Straight to Pula. I just want to catch him out. I want to destroy that army. Or at least the bulk of it. I'm just wondering, what are they doing? My friends, I can outmaneuver you like so. We can actually position our men to move in that direction. So even if they get there, these guys are going to catch them, and these guys are going to follow in. Uh-huh. Wait, no. They're heading through Gatska over here. And 
and we can't about face them over here. Can we catch them before they manage to get the Gachka? Can we catch them? They're gonna get there in five days. We're gonna get there in four. We caught them. We finally caught them. Heck yeah. Now, let's see if we can actually beat them. <laughs> it says we're supposed to. There we go. Okay, we do have the upper hand. And in three days, even more units will be arriving. So that should increase further. Yes, yes it does. Captain Leon of Herc... <laughs> I almost read that Hercules of Hercules. And I was like, oh, are we in trouble? But no, he's scarred, overseer, novice... What? Novice hunter, uh-huh. Well, he shouldn't be that good, honestly. He's got a commander points of 15. Uh, why am I the leading... I keep trying to remove myself from the battlefield. Why am I the one leading these units? Our knight, Azona... Okay, wounded their knight? Okay, they're beaten. They're beaten. They're beaten. We won. Good god. And there we go. Did we catch the leader or something? That was an easy one too, right there. We caught a bunch of people, actually. Let's see. Can we... Okay, no. That does not pay. That does not pay. That pays. That kid will also pay. Oh, we just, I guess, caught a bunch of his family. I'm just gonna keep following them. Wait, the dwarf is actually in command of the army. Nice. Nice. Where's Vic when you need him? No, wait, he's not. Uh, he is now. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so that's one of the ransoms. Now the dude's gotta ransom the rest of his family. Yep, yeah, we're still at 100%. Can I get you to pay me for the other two kids as well? That's one. And this should be two. There we go. And yeah, we're still at 100%. We're just gonna enforce the mans. Bada beam, bada boom. There we go. Policine is now ours. Let's move our men. Wait. Yeah, we have to actually move them physically. Where have the... Wait, we're actually... What? Where in God's name have the peasant rabble run off to? They're not in any of my lands. Or are they he trying to head for... Oh. Oh, that's where they are. Interesting. Okay, so let's just move our army into Padua and disband them here and uh, re-raise them in Jerusalem. Meanwhile, with the amount of money we have, we definitely want to continue building up our provinces over here. So we're gonna upgrade the pastures. Uh, let's see, can we do anything in Florence? Uh, I can now build up the tents to get even more levies, increase the supply limit, increase the damage of archers and skirmishers. Do we have either of those? I don't think... Actually, yeah, we do have quite a, uh, quite a few archers. Um, you know what? Sure, we'll upgrade that as well. Empoli over there, no. Arezzo, we can build pastoral lands. Hill farms. Hello. They actually give more gold. I'll build the hill farms. Siena. We can either upgrade the fields. I think that's a good idea. There. Increase the income. Increase the amount of units we have. Perfection. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We do not want Jerusalem to fall. Especially not to peasant rabble. Bam. Expand. It's gonna take five months. It's fine. I'm just wondering, like, where did the peasants actually get enough money to raise, to uh, actually transport all of those units across the sea? Because they're not, like, who's your leader? Dude, okay, dude has a little bit of money, so I guess that's how he did it. Move the rally point. Start gathering up. We don't really necessarily need the entire army over here. 
but just as many as possible. Gathering three months left. Honestly, I think we can actually take them on just with this. And again, I do not want to be the leader. What the heck? Let's have the dwarf be the leader. <laughs> Are you going to run away? You're not going to run away. Because you have no chance. There. Our knight was wounded by an enemy soldier. Not even... What? He wasn't even wounded by an enemy knight. Just a random soldier. And that's a family member of ours, isn't it, Benedetto? Yes, it is. And because of that, he actually gets negative marshal. And he is our marshal. That is that is bad form right there. Okay, so we destroyed that army. Let's destroy this army as well, just to end this. Finished it. I was gonna say finish them, but then I kind of messed up over there. What? Stone of glass. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why the scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle. With the aid of a stone, stone of glass, even old men struggling with bad eyesight could read with ease. There goes Rangar again. Finish it. Kind of. Uh, Luigi, I require... <laughs> is our archbishop actually known as Luigi? He is. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that. You gain 300, but he gains a weak hook. Nope. I need one of these stones. I lose some money, but we gain lifestyle experience. Hey, welcome, Vic. Welcome, welcome. Uh, sell everything, which is impossible to read. We gain gold. We gain. S we lose stress. You know what? I'm gonna pay because we are getting plenty of money and get that lifestyle experience. Vic, you are going to be happy to find out that we made the dwarf one of our main commanders over here. <laughs> Fascination has been discovered. Fa hereditary rule. There we go. So hereditary rule has been discovered. And we can now enact the partition law. Partition law. What do we want now? Like most of the buildings that we wanted to upgrade uh, said that we need manorialism. So we either go for that or we go for one of the like battlements, boroughs. Horseshoes, mangonels, we could do for that, so we could actually recruit some stronger uh, sieging men-at-arms. Mm, household soldiers, size of men-at-arms regiments, plus three. Max number of men-at-arms regiments, good god, that would be amazing to have. Arch saddle, coinage, what is this? Unlocks a coinage, right feudal contract. Development growth plus 10%. Chronicle writing. De jure duchy casts us bell eye. Well, we go for this and have... Yeah, I think we're actually going to uh, go for this. I mean, due to our high learning now, it's actually not going to take us that long to uh, discover these things. So 13 years for de jure duchy casts us bell eye. Sounds good. Okay, let's see how the dwarf does. He won. <laughs> Imagine that. He won. There we go. I mean, he's pretty darn good. Forder crosses water without advantage penalties. That's awesome. Flexible leader, enemy defensive advantage, negative 50. Uh, unyielding defender, friendly fa uh, fatal casualty. So he, we're actually losing less units with him commanding our units. Absolutely amazing. We're going to disband the rest and just enforce the mans over here. He is now caught, or rather not caught, but um, locked up. Can you actually pay for yourself? You can't. Are you any good? I mean, you're damn good. You're Catholic. You're not of my culture, but damn, you're good. Look at that, Marshal. You know what? Negotiate release. Recruit and gain a weak hook. He's not going to want the weak hook, but he is willing to accept uh, a recruitment. I mean, he's not of our culture, but... Shouldn't be too bad. He is Catholic. That's definitely a bonus. Uh, so we're going to negotiate his release, see if he joins us, and immediately put him as our marshal. He have no choice but to accept. Yeah, you kind of don't, do you? I'm going to sign you here. There. 
you kind of don't like me, but that's kind of normal because we literally just beat you. Oh, you're also ambitious. He's angry. He was forcibly recruited. All of that will go down, but the ambitious point right there is a little bit worrisome. He's vengeful, ambitious, but he is brave. Rough terrain expert, so he wouldn't... I mean, can I actually make him, like, force him to be one of our knights? We allow him to be a knight. We can't really force him. Also, with the amount of... Oh, no, I can't... Ah! Okay, notify me when I we can actually invite more knights.